Well, fall is here, and while we might not get the brilliant red and orange leaves that they do in other climates, just because we live in the south doesn't mean you can't bring a touch of fall to your own yard. I'm out here at Brownswood Nursery on Johns Island with general manager and certified nursery professional Ryan Watkins, and he's going to tell us how to bring a touch of fall to your own yard during these kind of cooler temperatures. Yeah. Now, these definitely look a little more winter and fall-like with the deeper colors here. What plants do we have going on? Well, Caitlin, I want to start with the Abelia Kaleidoscope. This is a really bright plant. It's a newer introduction, and it has this beautiful chartreuse green foliage, variegation yellow, and it only gets three foot by three foot. We have a lot of customers that have smaller gardens or need smaller plants. This plant is a star. Um, if you have a, a frontier uh, need, this is a great plant. Um, full sun, depart sun, and it's, it's evergreen. So in the winter, it's still going to have this great uh, foliage. And in fact, as the fall progresses, you start to get some of this, uh, oh, wow. you know, ambers and orange color, and it does get these really pretty white flowers. Wow, definitely, so love, love definitely that Definitely great colors for yeah. fall. Now, also over here, we have some lighter colors, but still good fall plants. Yeah, this is the Encore Azalea. Um, our traditional azaleas bloom once a, once a year in the spring. This blooms three times a year, and there's over 28 varieties of Encore, so you can get it in almost any color you want. And the other great thing is they only get two and a half to four and a half foot high. They grow in full depart sun, which traditional azaleas grow in the shade, and uh, they're awesome. Love them. Do they're they great. bloom the same color every season? Generally, uh, all of the all the plants stay true to their variety. There is a couple varieties that have sort of a mixed uh, blend. One is mm -hmm. called Twist that has a deep uh, kind of deep pink and a light pink flower. Okay. So you get kind of a mixture. All right. Now yeah. this hasn't bloomed yet, but you can see the buds there. What yes, do you got going it's on? loaded with buds. This is the Camellia japonica. And it's a great plant. It has hundreds of varieties. I would encourage you to check with our local camellia societies. Um, but they are uh, range in whites, pinks, variegations, reds, and everything in between. Um, they bloom in the winter. So when everything's kind of looking its worst, these guys are going to put out huge, beautiful, um, full flowers. And uh, they're evergreen. So again, uh, even when the flowers aren't there, you're going to have great foliage. And heights can range anywhere from 6 to 20 feet. So huge range of different varieties. It's a great plant, back tier kind of anchor plant. Now this one's tall as well, but it doesn't have the blooms that this one does. Yeah, so this is kind of, we think about as a sleeper plant. It's called cassia, cassia. And by sleeper, I just mean it's there in the garden. You don't really pay attention to it until it flowers. But once it does, in the next few weeks, we're going to see this thing begin to flower. Beautiful yellow flowers. They're spectacular. The plant does is a little weedy. Um, but it's really nice uh, when it is flowering, so I'd encourage you maybe pop one in the back of the garden and uh, have it flower when it's time. And we've got some nice, deep, rich colors here. Yeah, so this is the um, Purple Diamond Lure Petalum, uh, also another newer plant. It has these beautiful hot pink spider-like flowers and uh, deep purple foliage. It is evergreen, so it is green all year. And uh, mature height is about four to five foot high, four to five foot wide. And uh, again, you can't beat the contrast. It's beautiful. Now these are all great beautiful plants you want to make sure you plant it at the right time though yeah what is the best time to plant for fall we get that question a lot when is the best time to plant and our answer is the absolute best time is fall mm -hmm. but we do plant 365 days in Charleston the issue is water and temperature so sometimes we have clients that don't want to get out in the yard and water very frequently or they just don't have time mm -hmm. fall is a good time for you um, uh, also, the, cool, the cooler temperatures do allow the plants to acclimate better over the winter. So fall is the best time, but we do plant 365 days a year. Great. Well, we are just about a week into the official start of fall, and there's no time like the present than to come on out here and get your yard ready for fall. Stay tuned, because next week we're going to hit the drawing board and talk about the basics of landscape design. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break.